my ex has been on a campaign to alienate our children from me and it's been heartbreaking and the feed is moving very quickly and so uh, that was I believe Nikki you want to hold your ex in your mind's eye in your controlled reverie in love and in perfection and all of those things that caused you to fall in love with your ex all of those beautiful aspects of personality of physicality of spirituality that drew you to them amplify them now as you consider this person and pivot away from point your interest away from those defects of personality that are causing in your in your way of thinking causing these problems now the easiest way to have peace with your ex is to have peace within yourself the easiest way to not be triggered not get frustrated and not be sad about somebody else or what they're doing is to get aligned in yourself aligned to love aligned to joy aligned to purpose truly aligned to i am the power position of your life when you're at peace when you're looking through the eyes of love it is much easier to see people as god would see them and to put up with a lot of their shenanigans for they know not what they do quite literally and in your imagination before you go to sleep even tonight spend 15 minutes Imagining yourself in a room, sitting across from a table with your ex, having a conversation that speaks healing into this relationship in which you appreciate all the beautiful things about him. You thank him for all the things that he's doing that are good. You both speak about how beautiful your children are, and he speaks to you about what a great mother you are and how you both want to co-parent and see healthy children and, and want to be there the highest possible level for the benefit of each other and your children 15 minutes tonight my sweet spend time imagining that it transmits it's received in his consciousness and I also ask you to do this for your children to imagine them as healthy adjusted understanding thriving functioning stable balanced your whole family, the unit that you are in whatever form you are now, it's different, but you're still a family unit. Begin to imagine that in a state of restoration, and so it is. As a woman speaks about herself, so she is. So reconcile yourself first. Know yourself first, and then so it is. Everything adjusts around you.